Hey, what's up? You're watching Juno TV, and it's your boy Stokes here with the one and only DJ Slank from Newark, New Jersey. How you doing? I'm good, man. Just chilling. Just got in. Feeling real good in here. It's kind of hot outside. You said you're not trying to get turned up yet? No, I'm not really trying to get turned up yet. It's, it's a little bit of Henny. After this, where you got to go again? Uh, the Hi-Fi Club in Calgary. And have to um, do a show there and then leave, go right back to the airport. So I just, I'm just going to be in the airport all day, pretty much. <laughs> now, you don't just produce trap music. You also produce uh, Jersey Hop, Hip Hop, do you, uh, Experimental. Do you have, like, a favorite that you like to produce them all? Oh, Jersey Club. That's my, yeah, that's what I grew up on, like, 16 years old, growing up in Jersey, was Jersey Club. And, like, also Baltimore Club, because right. I heard of Baltimore Club first before Jersey Club. Jersey treats their club music way different. I remember being in a club in Jersey and my head almost turned off. Talk to people who don't know what Jersey Club is, give them a little bit of description about what it is. Well, Jersey Club is more like a breakbeat kind of genre, like big bass, uh, just like catchy lyrics, but it's like built for the club and like built for the soul and built to have fun. And there's like nothing else like it on earth. Yeah. You know what I mean? You have dance battles. Yeah, they have dance battles like in like the, in the middle of the club. Like you could play, you can go to a club and play Jersey Club all night if you wanted to, right. because like everybody, everybody likes it. Even like an older crowd, they might like it. They might like a little bit more like house music, right. a little classic. bit of that old classic like house music. But uh, for the most part, everybody gets down to Jersey Club in Jersey. All right, let's take take us back in time now to your very first concert you ever attended. <laughs> let's go. Well, I, like growing up, I never really attended concerts like a jay-z concert or like a, a rock concert anything like that it was just like guys that i looked up to um like a dj tamil concert that's like one of the ogs at jersey club music so probably like one of his concerts or like a dj tim dollar these are all local dudes you know what i mean i never really was a big like i was a big fan of other people but i turn i wait yeah, I was a big fan of other people, but I never actually was like, yo, I want to go to this concert because, I don't know, being young, I had my mind on a whole bunch of other things. But in that era of Jersey Club music, I would that's that's the biggest inspiration to me that I was like, my like concert, you know what I mean? You remember the first CD you ever bought? Yep, uh, G-Unit, uh, Beg for Mercy. Oh, for real? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You get any trouble with that? Yeah, I did. <laughs> okay. I mean, I kept, I kept passing, I made dubs and kept passing around school. And everybody was rapping it, but that was like that was like my favorite. That was like my favorite uh, group. G Unit is like my favorite. Then they kind of like split up, but now they back together. They're back together. How do yeah. you feel about that? Think I don't. It's, gonna be as good I don't as the first time? it's not going to be as good as the first time, man. Like definitely not. And it's so funny because I actually bought the CD, but it was like a bootleg CD, so it wasn't even actually like the regular CD. Because I could like walk around the corner and go to the local grocery store, and they'll somebody will be in front with all of the new bootleg like CDs for like five bucks. And um, it was amazing because I actually played that, I actually played that record, I actually played that CD out to all the songs sounded slow to me. That's how many times I played it. I was like, yo, it sounds like it's down tuning itself or something like that. I'm DJ Slink and you're watching Juno TV.